Hey Discovery, I'm Amy Elliott and I'm a top engineer. That didn't really make sense. First Robotics is what got me started in engineering. It was so much fun. I got to design robots. I was selected to be in the NASA Robotics Academy when I was just a freshman. In college, I moved on to an ATV competition known as Baja SAE. We built this thing from scratch, and it dries on water. In Baja, I learned how to make a steel frame. I learned to notch the tubes, spin the tubes, and weld the tubes. I also designed the frame. At NASA, I was trained by a real machinist. I designed this linear bearing test setup, made these parts to do this. The NASA Moon Buggy competition was the most challenging and rewarding experience of my life. I was captain, I recruited a team of my friends, and they turned out to be the dream team. I mean, they took my ideas and they, it just worked out so well. Um, I made the 3D model, it was fully functional. We had so much work into the design that when we got to the competition, we won three of the four major awards and we had never competed in this competition before. So we beat a lot of teams that had been doing this for years and that is something that I'm really proud of. I've worked on a lot of other projects that I just don't have time to talk about. Right now, I'm a grad student at Virginia Tech. <laughs> I'm in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, and I work in the Dreams Lab. I work in a lab where we design, research, and educate people about 3D printing. 3D printing works, you print by printing objects layer by layer. So this was printed out of metal powder. So you can print pretty much anything you want, any shape. There's no limit. Yeah, I know a lot of math, but some of it's actually really useful. I'm 25 and I'm getting a patent through NASA. I have done so many things in engineering. I have done, I'm, Automatic pizza makers, moon buggies, ATVs, submarines. Submarines, urine processing on the space station, robot programming. Not a typical engineer because I have had so much hands on experience. I think I've used almost every tool there is to use in a shop. And I still have all my fingers. Since I started engineering, I have just always, always done every competition that I could ever do. I just love, love these kinds of competitions. There's something special that happens when you get a bunch of smart people in one room and you give them a bunch of tools and you just say, build this thing. I mean, amazing things happen. There's just, it's just really special. I am very competitive, especially when my reputation as an engineer is at stake. I would be comfortable working in any field of engineering because it's all related. It's all about problem solving, intuition. I have done so many projects in so many different areas that I think I would be capable of doing almost anything. I, I feel pretty invincible. I think my engineering friends like me. I'm really easy to get along with. Um, my other friends I don't think they know what to think of me. I'm always doing something random, making something. I also love to sew. I love to design things to sew. Um, I have been called the Martha Stewart of engineering. <laughs> I am a major goofball. There are days when I just can't stop laughing at random crap that's happening. I, I love to laugh. I love making fun of people, messing with people. Everyone I know thinks I'd be perfect for this show. So there you have it, Discovery. I'm a mechanical engineer with a lot of hands-on experience. I'm organized, I'm fun, and I'm an expert problem solver. I want to be on your show, so pick me, Discovery, for Top Engineer. Yeah.